I was reading um, the comment section of my mom's video. Um, well, I wasn't really reading it. I think I just read one comment and no, I was reading like the first like top 10 comments. And one of them said, uh, a lot of people said congratulations, like I'm proud of you, I'm happy for you. And then one person said, uh, this color, this color, that's that's uh, that's an ugly combination, right? So I'm like, okay, you know, people, title on your title to your opinion. I mean, I even do quotation. People are like, what are you doing quotation marks for? We are entitled to our opinion. Okay, opinion, yeah. But have you guys heard the the, the saying as a kid? If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. But I digress. So that okay but then they left with and i and mind you i didn't watch the whole video but someone said and where do those people come from uh looks like um you paid the fan you paid some fans to come up so i'm assuming fans came up to her because i didn't see that part but um they're like oh wow it, look, it looks like she paid the 50 dollars to act like they're fans i'm like what what it is, what it is, ZWC Cruise, your boy Zeddy Chunk Chunk, and we are back again with another banger for you guys today. What kind of banger this is? Some muck bang! Today, ZCC family, we got something new. We got something that is hot on the streets, all puns intended. Yes, ZCC family, we're doing Wendy's Ghost Pepper Chicken Ranch Burger. A tongue twister right there. And then also we're doing their ghost pepper fries. And um, I'm really excited. Right now I'm noticing there's a trend when it comes to ghost pepper. Because uh, Popeye's got their ghost pepper wings. Burger King had a ghost pepper burger, I believe. And so did Arby's have a ghost pepper burger. So ghost pepper is trending right now. They hot on the streets. Once again, pun intended. <laughs> but uh, today we got us a full menu. I got their chicken nuggets. Their ghost pepper chicken sandwich. Their... Chili, their fries, strawberry, Sprite, ghost pepper wings, and a chocolate, uh, what is it called? Chocolate Frosty. And then I got a Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. Every time I go to Wendy's, I gotta grab me a Junior Bacon. That's one of my, that's one of my go-to burgers for, for Wendy's. But let's go ahead and get a prayer and a thumbnail. Father God, I wanna thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. And I ask that you do please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's get a thumbnail. I act like I'm taking a bite of a burger. Ha! <laughs> and let's dive in. First things first, you guys. I believe. Well, let's 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 get the setup out the way. Y'all know I gotta do the setup for y'all. I gotta go crazy for the setup. But um, first things first, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try this burger. Let's actually move this out the way real quick. Let's get this burger unwrapped. Oh my goodness, what is this? It has all these little onion things I'm about to drip off. Let's take this out. Okay. This is the chicken shot. Ooh, that's spicy. I taste it. So these little onion things in here is what's making it spicy. And I just tasted one. Let's go ahead and get our first bite. I'm gonna eat this in the back. Mm. Okay. Yeah. This 100% got some spice. Okay, when he's up to you. Now, mind you, I did ask for extra ghost pepper ranch on this, but dare I say, Wendy's ghost pepper chicken sandwich is hotter than Popeye's ghost pepper wings. Isn't that crazy? I think this is one of the first time a fast food 
Is the advertising, advertising something spice to you? And it actually got some spice to it. It's good. I really like this. The good chicken patty. That's good. Now let me see what's up with these fries, because these fries look like they don't got no sauce. It looks dry. Look at this. As if the sauce is cooked in like a the grease is supposed to be spicy. I'm gonna try this out. I'm not tasting it. All right, I'm tasting a little spicy, but I don't know if it's, I can't taste it because I'm having a burger already. And the burger's got the spice going for me right now. I'm not really tasting that. Let me get another bite of this. I don't know why. That's a good chicken challenge. I 100% recommend this chicken sandwich. Only if you're into spice. It's not that spicy. Um, for someone who doesn't like heat, probably too spicy. Like, for example, my homie Snoop, I'll probably say it's too spicy for him. Ooh, it was kind of hectic. So uh, if you feel like you need to, uh, if you feel like you're on the level of Snoop, yeah, that's just spicy. <laughs> you feel like Flamin' Hot Cheetos give you run for your money, this is spicy. <laughs> but that's actually good. I'm gonna find out what these turning spicy, because you know Wendy's got the uh, spicy wings. I didn't get spicy wings. The reason why I didn't is because, uh, I feel like they just don't taste as good as their normal wings. And you guys know I'm a spice lover. I mean, they're normal chicken chicken nuggets. They just don't hit like these. But, yeah, this is pretty good. As you guys see by the title, We got something to talk about today, you guys. I wanted to chop it up with y'all. Because I was uh, recently uh, scrolling through, uh, what is it called? YouTube. And um, I've never talked about it before, but I don't know if I want to bring up this. I don't know. Maybe later on in the video, I'll bring up this spe specific story that has to do with my mom below, but I was watching this podcast, you know, just about toxic relationships or things of that sort. And this girl had a valid point. It's just like, she said, us as humans, it's hardwired to like drama. And at my head, I'm first chicken. Nah. Hat. I can't stand it. But then I was thinking, well, she actually, she's spitting facts. And the reason for that is because, yeah, we could say we hate drama. Because I'm a person, even people who say they don't like drama, we don't like drama. That's 100% true. It's, it could be true. But if it's drama that don't got to do with us, we all into it. Now, This is not a blanket for everybody. Everybody's different, but 90 to 95% of the population loves drama and we love negativity. And why are we programmed like this? You know, I don't get it. Because this is what our everyday just life, like, uh, and even if you don't think you love drama, you love watching reality TV shows. They're drama in it, you know? That, that's what makes it interesting. Even movies, you know what I mean? 
drama. That's what makes it interesting. When it's someone and when it's someone else going through it, like we may hate it with us 100%, but someone else going through it, we tuned in, we glue. Why are we like that? You know? And actually, I'm bring up my mom's situation. I just find it, I was reading um, the comment section of my mom's video. Um, well, I wasn't really reading it. I think I just read one comment and no, I was reading like the first like top 10 comments. And one of them said, uh, a lot of people said, congratulations, like I'm proud of you, I'm happy for you. And then one person said, uh, this color, this color, that's that's uh, that's an ugly combination, right? So I'm like, okay, you know, people, title on your title to your opinion. I mean, I even do quotation. People are like, well, you don't quotation mark first. We are entitled to our opinion. Okay, opinion, yeah. But have you guys heard this, the the saying as a kid? If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. But I digress. So that okay but then they left with and i and mind you i didn't watch the whole video but someone said and where do those people come from uh looks like um you paid the fan you paid some fans to come up so i'm assuming fans came up to her because i didn't see that part but um they're like oh wow it, look, it looks like she paid the 50 dollars to act like they're fans i'm like what I didn't even see this. I didn't even see the the scene she's talking about, but I just know for a fact that uh, I mean, obviously, but it just sounds ridiculous. I'm like, so you really think my my family paid for fans to come act like fans? Mind y'all, mind y'all. Um, everybody swore. Oh, uh, B Love's life is going going broke. B Love's life don't got no money left. She she her views went down. Uh, this side of that. So. It's hectic, and 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 obviously, and and, uh, and there's another another thing too about just being materialistic. And I, I think my mom did a video when she said dressing the comments. I know, I didn't watch that video yet either. But if she didn't, well, this is my take on it and things of that sort. But um, mind y'all, y'all y'all swear. Okay, yeah, she's going. Y'all say she's going broke outside of that, but yet she bought. They just bought a Ferrari. That's that's not your that's not your late your everyday uh, car to go get. I'm telling you, even people with Lam it's on another level than a Lamborghini. But then y'all say, oh, this family's so caught up in materialistic things. What? Just because we like something nice means we're so caught up into it. What? What? Why is that? What? Just because we oh we showed it on YouTube. So everybody who did a car tour on YouTube, where they're just so. Into materialistic things and things of that sort, right? We we are into it 100, but uh, that doesn't rule our world. Life goes on without these things, you know what I mean? And we have something nice. We're sharing it because the you guys made it possible. The supporters, not the people who are nagging and hating, but the supporters made it possible, you know, for us to get these nice things. But the topic is not just about that situation. That's the whole. I just legit. Rhett was reading those comments a couple hours ago, and I'm like, what? But what what made me think too was, you know, what's crazy is even on my videos, I read so many comments, so many, so much positivity comments, and it, and that one comment comment that's hectic or negative can make you want to respond to that, make you want to go crazy, and like you put your attention towards that, and that's not just me, that's everybody, everybody goes through that. Instagram post. Is so everybody saying you're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful? And then one person says, You're ugly. You got something to say to that person that said that. And that, that can ruin your mood. But why? Why is that out of a hundred comments, why would one negative stand out for us? It's just weird. As, as, as humans, I don't know, it's rare. And the old girl said we're like hardwired to look at things like that. I'm like, hey, that sounded at first it was like, nah, not true, but like, we are hardwired for drama. <sighs> but oh, another thing too, like uh, my videos, I noticed someone said, Dalvin, why are you always doing like um, titles that sound like so uh, so hectic or like you're going through something? And 
I literally said, well, I didn't respond back. But I'm thinking my head is like, because that's what what people are clicking for. And some some of you guys could be clicking for the actual mukbang part, which I which I love. And I feel like half of my viewers do click for that, and the other half click for for um, for drama reasons, you know. But um, I do that because that's what you guys watch, you know. That's what you guys love. Look at prime example. Look at Nikocado. People say so much about he's eating this up to death, da this out of that. I can't watch this, this is so gross. You click that profile to saying that, they got 15 other comments on 15 videos. <laughs> like what? How can you not stand this guy? But yeah, or even just my channel. This this refers to anybody. I just when you see a negative comment, now YouTube has a feature where you can click their comment and see all the other comments they left on your channel. So now I see someone saying he's irritating. He says, "Why do I see this on five other videos? If I'm that, why are you watching? You know." Why are you continuing to click on a video? Now, I don't want to hear this news, oh, we're watching for this person because you say this under a video where I'm by myself, or multiple videos where I'm by myself. So you're not watching for someone else, you're still tuned in, but yet you want to tune in. That's just weird to me, that's just weird. And I, at this point, I, I said it multiple times, it becomes an obsession at that point, you know? I mean, you truly don't like someone, but you still have to tune in. It's an obsession. You know, doing, uh, ooh, that spice is hitting. Kind of went down on pipe almost. But doing YouTube for so long, you know, I became more. I want to say uh, immune to negative comments. Yeah, yeah, more immune to it. I don't know why I said I wouldn't say it because it doesn't affect me as much. No, let me not even say as much. It doesn't affect me. It never really did. Always been. I always had a hard exterior my whole life growing up. I always got my parents, my friends. My closest friends, my family, everybody always says I'm not emotional. Everybody who comes to my life always says I'm just not emotional. I'm just, um, could be a problem, could be not. Some people may look at it as a problem, and nah, I really don't think it is. Just, you know, not everybody's built the same. It's funny when, when, <laughs> that's a whole other situation, but you know, everybody's built the same. And um, I don't think it's a problem that I'm not that emotional. Which actually, I do believe I am, but I am, I just don't show my emotions really that, that much. But um, doing this for so long, you just learn to, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. When people say something crazy, it's just, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I heard it, you know, I heard it all before, type ordeal. Anything new, like, you know what I mean? You're preaching, like, I, I heard this said before. This man, I just said this now. That's what it counters. But after a while, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. But, I keep repeating myself, you still focus, you don't focus on it, but it's, it still dwells on your mind. I don't know if I'm, I don't say it dwells on my mind because I'm not thinking about it, but you get more attention to that than someone saying, I love your video. This was amazing, the other side of that. We need to learn how to fix this. I don't know if it can be fixed though, because like I said, even TV shows were like this. 
TV shows are watching the. We watch for the drama. We watch for the negativity. We watch to see what's next. You know, and when it comes to relationships, some I be seeing some people be some people saying like, um, I was I, I was watching you know guys and women in relationships talking about you know if the relationship is just too happy. This is a podcast I'm watching. Too perfect, they start drama to bring bring some toxic energy to it because you know that's what the relationship is just going too well. So we need a we need a fight. I'm like, I definitely experienced that. But why? Why do we need what? Are we are we allergic to just being happy? We just can't be happy. Now, mind you, once again, I'm not saying this for everybody. Not everybody is the same. People are different, but majority of humans, we like drama. We we pay attention to negativity one way or the other. It may not be the typical way, where you feed into it, or you care about what someone's saying about you or something like that. So you may not give a crap what what someone says about you, but when someone says or when you see drama with someone else, that's when you're tuned in, that's when you're interested. You know who's a prime example of it too? So many people love um, Blueface and Christian Rock's relationship. Why? Because it's so toxic. Why do we love that? I don't have the answers. I'm legit asking. <laughs> I'm asking why are we, I, and, I, and I'm just coming to the conclusion, we are hardwired like this. And actually, I'm not capping to. <laughs> I was asking, I was asking Google why we're like this, right? And Google low key had a, well, it's not Google, it's this AI chat had a very valid point. So this says emotional arousal. Negative and dramatic events tend to provoke an emotional response in people, whether it's anger, fear, sadness, or excitement. These emotions tend to grab our attention and make us feel more engaged with the situation, which is why we often find ourselves drawn to news stories, social media, and other forms of media that focus on negative events. I'm like, ah, that actually makes sense a lot. Also, this has ev uh, evolutionary advantage. From an uh, evolutionary perspective, humans have evolved to pay attention to danger and threats in their environments. This helped us to survive in the past, so we need to be vigilant for potential predators or others or other dangers. In modern times, however, this same exact instinct can lead us to focus more on negative news and events. I'm like, man, this is coming from a perspective of just not drama and stuff. I'm like, damn, this the crazy, the other things that can lead to humans being hardwired for negativity and drama. Would it ever stop? Would it ever go away? I don't think so. I think. This is, this is who we are, but what we can do is just be better, you know. Go back to those, uh, to the most simplest things we learn in, uh, in grade school. If you don't got nothing nice to say, don't say it at all, you know. Be a pot, want wish positivity on people, don't want you don't. You should not want to see people down and out bad. I honestly, I ain't gonna say never because I don't remember my child. I, I'm, I'm coming to a conclusion I have a bad memory. <laughs> but um, in my, I can't say about my high school or middle school or whatever days, my year of childhood days. But as an adult, I never wish bad on anybody. I never want to see nobody fail. I never want to see nobody lose or anything. Like, I always like from even for people who done bad to me. I'm like, eh, it's hectic. Like, it's hectic. But I don't want to see them. I don't want to see bad on them. And I and that's the kind of. And if you believe in karma, 
I'm not saying I believe in it. I, I believe in it and don't believe in it. So in and out. I believe you do good things, which is karma. But you do good things, good things come back to you. And um, and that's what I just try to do is bring just positivity, good vibes, and do good things for people. Anybody in my life, I always look out for. I want to see everyone around me win. Even random people win because, hey, it doesn't affect my life. If you lose that life, it doesn't affect my life, you know? So I'll never wish bad on someone. I'll never tune in. That's actually another thing I saw too. Crazy is um, I saw someone who made a video about my mom a while ago. Randomly popped up too. It was as I was uploading my last video. What video was that? Um, seafood boil, NLC. Uploading it, and I'm going through, and, and it popped up. In my news feed, an uh, old channel. They didn't even never even focus on my parents. They didn't even focus on mukbangs, but they randomly made one video about my mom. And um, but they usually did stuff about other YouTube YouTubers who were like in clout houses and stuff of that sort. And uh, he said, "Oh yeah, well I saw B Love's life, and she looked big and she looked sick and all that stuff." He's like, I haven't seen her in years. And that made me click it. I had to go click it and watch her. And I'm like, wow. So you never paid attention to her in years, but since you've seen like, oh, she's looking like this or, or you look like she has hair loss or she's looking big. Now you want to go tune in and see, is this finally it? Like, is this the, is this the, um, is this the downfall? That's kind of crazy to me. And he is on there, you know, talking about, oh, yeah, you need to just say nothing, but still on the same stuff. And I'm thinking, OK, it's years later. Maybe they not on that no more. Maybe they grew up, you know. And honestly, bro look kind of like sick. And I hope he's not sick. I'm not even trying to come, but it looked like he was something like bad, going bad with him. I swear to God. So I swear to God. My, well, I don't even say swear to God, but swear on everything. I'm thinking like, oh, he's not even on that type of time because he looked like kind of hectic itself like he's going through something i don't want to say hectic he's like going through something i hope he's he's fine and everything and I'm like he's probably not on that and he was still on that i'm like what years later that's weird to me it didn't smack no views or anything but it's just like wow and what made him watch is because she looked like she was failing or things were bad with her We gotta be positive. We gotta put shit light in this world. We gotta just focus on positive energy, positive things, good comments, good people. And I think I do a pretty good job on doing that. You know, once in a while I come on here and, and have to let people know like why, you know what I mean? But I remember back in the day I used to comment. Well, well that's when I used to respond to every comment. So even the negatives, I used to respond to them. But I gave all the positive comments love too. But one thing is I know for sure in my YouTube career, I'll always comment it more towards positive comments than negative my, my YouTube career. And that's one billion percent facts, you know. Um, and I always tell people when I mean, doing YouTube, don't don't show them negative because all they're looking for is is a response and they get geeked up and they get they start to fan fangirl and fanboy wants to respond to them. So don't even uh pinch it in that. Just the people who show you love, rock with them. And that's what I've been doing, that's what I'll always do. And I really appreciate you guys. And just be nicer. Be nicer to people. You know. Do good things, give people random compliments. I remember I saw a lady, not even on no flirting stuff. It was a six year old lady. This was like a couple of days ago. Saw her at HEB. And I'm like, you look really nice today. She's like, oh, wow, thank you. And she was like, I really appreciate that compliment. I'm like, no problem. And just kept her pushing. And I could tell that she took it as like, wow, you know, someone's compliment, like that made her day. The way she said it, like, she's like oh, wow, like, thanks. I really appreciate it. Like, yeah, no problem. So say something nice to someone random. No, it's not flirting. Nothing wrong with it. And you don't even have to say flirt. Like you say, oh, I like your shoes. Or oh, I like your like your necklace. If you actually like it, don't. Well, I mean, you can say things just to make someone feel good. But um, yeah, spread some positivity. Pay for pay for someone's meal behind you. If you're at McDonald's or something. If you got it. If you don't got it, don't be doing it. But 
Nothing but love and positivity. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All is at a check check. That is Z-A-D-D-Y-C-H-U-K-C-H-U-K. This Ghost Pepper Burger, definitely, uh, I was going to say 10 out of 10, highly recommend, but it's not 10 out of 10. But it is, uh, it's a good 7 out of 10. It's definitely a good burger. I 100% recommend it. And uh, I think you guys should go rock with it. But Z-C-C family, as we all know, the grind never stops until the ZCC gang is on top. Let's get it!